Everybody talks about the Tesla Model 3 as the big deal mass market electric car. Actually, Nissan was there long before with the Leaf. And now the new 2018 Leaf has longer range than that car. Plus, it's still got a lower price than the Tesla Model 3 or the Chevy Bolt EV. The Leaf starts at about $30,000, which is around five grand less than those cars. But it also doesn't give you quite as much, like range. The Model 3 and the Bolt EV will take you farther on a charge. Though Nissan says a slightly more expensive version of the Leaf with range like those other guys is coming soon. Tesla has proven that electric cars can be a lot of fun to drive. The Nissan Leaf is not fun, it's fine. One cool thing about this car is true one pedal driving. Except in an emergency, I never need to touch the brake pedal. I can even come to a complete stop by just lifting my foot off the accelerator. Something else I was surprised to find in the Leaf, ProPilot Assist. It's kind of like Nissan's version of Tesla Autopilot. It helps you stay in your lane and keep a safe distance from other drivers. Plenty of cars have this stuff by now, but most are luxury models from brands like Mercedes or BMW. Pretty impressive to find it in a Nissan. The Leaf is a decent looking car from the outside. It won't turn a whole lot of heads, but it doesn't make you want to look away either. The inside is a different story. Sorry, but it just looks like a cheap car. Right now, electric cars are a tiny fraction of the market. By the end of the year, they'll be a bigger tiny fraction of the market. And a lot of people are probably wondering if driving all electric would actually be practical for them. Well, something like the Nissan Leaf with decent amount of range, relatively low price, makes the case that, yeah, an electric car could work for a typical family.